Hello and welcome to the seventh part of my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. In this part we will finally get around to doing something that is useful, adding forces. So in this video we will be giving our part an upward force which has a maximum thrust and is scaled by using the throttle. OK, so now down to some coding. What we're going to do is we're just going to put in the minimum necessary needed in this video. We're going to expand upon it on the next video, but this will give you an idea of how simple it is to actually add a force. So first things first, we need uh, an onUpdate method. So it's a public override void onUpdate in here. And we want to make sure this is only running when we are currently in control of the active vessel. So if this vessel is equal to flight globals dot active vessel, then we'll do the rest of it. And this is quite simple. All you need is this dot rigid body. So we're getting the rigid body component of the part associated with the part module and we're going to add a relative force. There are other uh, force methods in there. Relative force always points the force rel in relation to where the part is facing. So this is what we want. So when we turn the part the force will change with our angle also. And we want uh, a vector 3 going up so the force is going to push us down, we're going to go up. So the force is pushing us up. And we will want to times that by the force amount. So let's go 10 uh, floating points. And then we want to scale that with a flight input handler dot state dot main throttle in there. And that is everything we need. So you need the di directionality of where it's going to be going. So we want it to go up, so pushes up. We've got the amount of thrust. So in this case, it will be uh, 10 kilonewtons in there. So that's going to give us our maximum thrust in a direction. And then we're going to scale it based on what the main throttle is set at. So I have built that. And now we just go into our Kerbal Space Program directory click on the batch file as always you should be getting used to this by now and start up the game and okay now that the game has started let's start a new game and resume our default flight and let's go to the VAB um, let's get our pod and put on four tutorial parts and let's launch it okay so as you can see from the last part our window's still up here and now we've got no throttle on at the moment so it's just sitting there but look what happens when I increase my throttle we go up each of these tutorial parts now is giving a force equal to 10 kil kilonewtons upwards so now that looks pretty damn good we can move it around because it's a relative force it will allow us to move sideways. so the force is always going to be acting upwards on all of these parts so because the command pod is at, at a slight angle well the forces are also at a slight angle because they're relative to the actual parts themselves but this is looking very good. I am happy with that and I hope you are too. And now you know how to add forces to your parts. So I thank you for watching through this video and if you found it informative please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments you may have below and subscribe for more.